good morning welcome to this video we are now trying to have a peep at the UCP uniform customs and practices for documentary credits the ICC rules for the letter of credit we will try to cover some 40 slides in four to five videos in one hour we will try to rush up very fast this will just help you to remember what you already know and remind you of the things that you have forgotten this is not a thorough study material but a refresher the application of ucp <clears throat> the ucpdc is published in the year 2007 and it is called publication number 600 it applies to any documentary credit to the extent applicable to standby credits also when the text of the credit expressly indicates that it is subject to these rules it is binding on all parties there too, unless expressly modified or excluded. What is a documentary credit or a standby letter of credit? It is any arrangement where a bank, at the request of and the instructions of the applicant, undertakes to make payment to or to the order of a beneficiary, authorizes another bank to honor or negotiate against stipulated documents, provided specified terms and conditions are complied, and the payment will be made at the place specified within the validity of the credit. So, UCP applies to any credit to the extent applicable to standby when the text of the credit expressly indicates that it is subject to the rules, that is ICC application number 600, UCPDC. It is binding on all parties unless expressly modified or excluded. So, what's a credit? Credit is an arrangement where a bank, at the request of the applicant, undertakes to make payment to a beneficiary <coughs> against the stipulated documents provided specific terms and are complied. Credit is somewhere, something where the issuing bank authorizes another bank to honor or negotiate provided stipulated documents are submitted and they are complying with the terms and conditions. <coughs> Definitions Advising bank The bank that advises a credit to the beneficiary at the request of the issuing bank. Applicant The party who requests issuance of a credit. Banking day The bank should be regularly open at that place for performing duties that are required as per the UCP. Beneficiary party, the party in whose favor the credit is issued. Complying presentation, presentation as per the credit terms, the UCP rules and provision of ASPP. So this is where when the URDG was published recently, it has been changed where a complying presentation, the provisions of standard standby practices or the standard guarantee practices will not be applied unless and until the UCP rules does not have anything for that. But in case of a letter of credit, as per UCP 600, published in 2007, the complying presentation should be complying with the credit terms, the UCP rules, as well as the provisions of the international standard banking practice applicable to documentary credits. <coughs> what is confirmation? It is a definite undertaking of another bank, in addition to that of the issuing bank, to honor or to negotiate a complying presentation. So confirmation is similar to credit, but an additional and a separate undertaking different from that of the issuing bank. Confirming bank is the bank that adds the confirmation, while credit is any arrangement, however named, irrevocable, definite undertaking of the issuing bank to honor a complying presentation. Credit is any arrangement, however named, irrevocable, definite undertaking of the issuing bank to honor a complying presentation. <coughs> so any arrangement where a bank at the request of the applicant undertakes to make payment to the beneficiary against the stipulated documents provided the terms and conditions are complied is a generic description or a definition of a credit. The standard UCPDC definition of a credit is any arrangement, however named, which is irrevocable and is definite that the issuing bank is undertaking to honor a complying presentation. <coughs> honor to pay at sight, to incur a deferred payment undertaking, and to pay at maturity. All these three is called honor. Right? If there is an acceptance situation, the draft will be accepted and will be paid at due date. If it is a deferred payment, a deferred payment undertaking will be undertaken and it will be paid at maturity. And if it is a site payment, it will be paid at site. This is called honor. Negotiation is purchase or prepay by the nominated bank of the drafts or documents drawn on other bank under a complying presentation by advancing or agreeing to advance funds to the beneficiary on or before the banking day on which reimbursement is due to the nominated bank from the issuing bank. Negotiation is purchase or prepay by the nominated bank of drafts or documents drawn on another bank under a complying presentation by agreeing to advance funds or advancing funds to the beneficiary 
honor before the banking day on which reimbursement is due to the nominated bank honor is to pay at site to incur a deferred payment undertaking and pay at maturity or to accept a bill of exchange that is a draft and pay on the due date issuing bank is a bank that issues a credit at the request of the applicant nominated bank is a bank with which the issuing bank has made the credit available with nominated bank is a bank with which the credit has been made available by the issuing bank presentation is delivery of documents or the documents so delivered to the nominated bank or the issuing bank or the confirming bank by the beneficiary presenter is a beneficiary a bank or a party who makes a presentation <coughs> interpretations singular includes plural and vice versa being silent a credit is always irrevocable if the credit is specifically states it is revocable normally beneficiary will not agree to it when ucp 500 was there swift had a rule that anything that has been sent by 700 message type will be automatically subject to ucp dc 500 in 600 that rule is not there in swift but in the 700 format there is a mandatory field where we have to choose whether it is ucp dc 600 or ucp plus urr or isp or what is applicable to the documented credit that is being sent via mt 700 format <coughs> any sign mark or stamp or label will satisfy the requirement for legalization signature can be by handwriting facsimile perforation mechanical or electronic first class well known and all will be ignored and it only means any party other than beneficiary branches in different countries are considered separate banks promptly and immediately will be disregarded on or about means five calendar days and approximately means plus or minus 10 percentage with respect to shipment date to and from includes the date and before and after excludes the date with respect to shipment date with respect to maturity date from and after exclude the date with respect to maturity date from and after exclude the date so if the maturity date is 30 days from shipment 30 days from shipment and 30 days after shipment both will exclude the date of shipment independence credit is a separate instrument independent of the sale or other contracts on which it is based credit is a separate in instrument and credit is independent of the sale contract based on which the credit is issued issuing bank versus applicant beneficiary versus applicant are the other relationships and these relationships that are associated with the credit will not affect the credit and will not affect the issuing bank's liability to the beneficiary beneficiary cannot avail itself of the benefits of the relationship between banks or between applicant and the issuing bank including the underlying contract as an integral part of the credit is discreet but mentioning the contract reference in the underlying uh, about the um, mentioning the contract reference in the credit is only for the purpose of identification and will not make the contract integral part of the credit credit is documentary what it means bank deal only with the documents bank do not deal with goods services or performance covered by the credit bank deal only in documents that is why the payment under the credit is based on the documents that are submitted credit is documentary no other conditions apply expiry and availability <coughs> presentation should be made on or before the credit expiry credit must state an expiry date for presentation presentation should be made on or before the expiry presentation credit should state an expiry date for presentation the expiry date for honor or negotiation is the expiry date for presentation expiry date of the credit is the expiry date for honor or negotiation and it is expiry date for presentation credit must state an expiry date and presentation should be made on or before the expiry date place of the bank where the credit is available is a place of presentation if the credit is available with the city bank new york the place of presentation is new york if the issue in of the credit is done by standard chartered london then the place of presentation in addition to city london new york is also stancy london place of presentation to any bank is an addition to that of the presentation of the issuing bank so if the credit is available with any other bank it is also available with the issuing bank and can be presented at the place of issuance of the issuing bank credit must not be made available with the draft on applicant credit must not be made available with the draft on applicant if it is called for it will be considered as an additional separate document credit must state the bank with which it is available or any bank and in spite of nomination it is available to issuing bank the credit just like it should state the expiry date just like it should state where the presentation should be made credit should state the bank with which it is available that is a nominated bank or it can state any bank and in any case it is always available with the issuing bank credit must state whether it is available by honor or negotiation so availability by honor or negotiation and available with a specific bank or any bank should be indicated credit must state an expiry date that is expiry date for honor or negotiation that is expiry date for presentation and presentation by the beneficiary should be made on or before such a date and at such a place 
of the nominated bank or that of the issuing bank. Place of the bank where the credit is available is a place for presentation. Hono. Hono means site payment, that is to pay at site or a deferred payment. Undertake to pay on a deferred date and then pay on the date or accept. It's accept the drafts drawn and pay on the maturity of the draft. Negotiation. Negotiation is to agree to advance funds on or before the due date against complying docs or drafts. Issuing bank undertaking. To reimburse a nominated bank is independent of the issuing bank undertaking to the beneficiary to honor. Issuing bank's undertaking to beneficiary to honor presentation is independent of issuing bank's undertaking to a nominated bank to reimburse if they have honored a compliant presentation. We shall take a short break and come back very soon.